Dámy a pánové, já vás vítám u dalšího videa ze hry Red Dead Redemption 2. V minulém díle jsme teda naháněli ovce, který jsme vlastně vezli na aukci. A následně jsme teda potkali samozřejmě naše nepříteli, který po nás jdou, nebo zapřečeno po Dačově, samozřejmě po naší skupině. Takže jsme byli, se Dač rozhodnul teda, že se musíme přemístit, přemístit náš tábor někam jinam. A byli jsme vyslaní tadyhle s Johnem. Myslím, že to je John. Je to John? Eh. Já si ty jména moc nepamatuju, takže sorry. A, a zamířili jsme sem teda do jakýsi vyschlý zátoky a našli jsme tady tuhle tu paní se dvěma dětma, který teda mluví německy, ale domluvili jsme se teda na tom, že nebo nás informovali o tom, že vlastně jí unesli manžela nebo jejich tátu. A my ho máme samozřejmě najít, takže jdeme na to. Budeme dneska samozřejmě pokračovat. Charles, pardon, ne John, ale Charles. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This way. Největší pravděpodobností tady samozřejmě byly utábořený. You were just gonna send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Takže byli tam samozřejmě v táboře a s největší pravděpodobností na ně zautočili. Tyhle ty tři, co tam zůstali, jak se stěhli teda schovat. Vypadá to, že zbytek takový štěstí samozřejmě neměl. What happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack, said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch in. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then if you asked me. Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Continues along the shore here. Anyway, you were saying? Bastards told me they killed Mac. Said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid. It's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. <laughs> John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Uh, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh well. If it's John's idea, it must what be What are you doing? Hey, look out and cool, yeah. What is it with you and him? Uh, he disappeared on us for a while. I mean, Jack, you think this is the right way? Give me a second. They carry on along this trail. Now, as I was saying, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year ago, he did, and we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Whoa! Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Tak začíná sám stmívat. Easy. Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. There he is. Quick, cut him free. Let's get out of here. Here drüben. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Pfanne. Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us. What the hell do you think you're doing? You'll never get out of here. What the hell you drag us 
listening to this, Charles? Down. Doesn't look like it. Look out! Riders coming in! Okay, okay. Them dealt with. You get them untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Hey, Fazimia. It's okay. We're getting you out of here. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. All right, come on. I'll take you back to your family. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Also soll ich mitkommen? Ja, kam ich bei einer Schlüssel zu Ossadnika, der ja nun sein Patrick die Rodine, die wir heute wieder mitspannt gehen. A během toho by se měl teda dač i s karavanou vlastně přemístit sem, což by mohl být dobrý kábor. Vy bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld abkassen. Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Yeah. Jo, podnika je vlastně ve zlatě. A samozřejmě oni chtěli výkupný, kterým asi s největší pravděpodobností samozřejmě nedali. Sei Dank. Schatz. Oh. Andreas, oh. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wär's so gewesen. Meine Lieblinge, mein Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here. Ja, ja, Famos. alles klar. Famos. Uh. Ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm. Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! This place, oh, it'd be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Takže dostali jsme zlatý ingot. Dá se samozřejmě prodat za poměrně vysokou cenu, takže je samozřejmě fajn. A nacházíme se teda ve třetí kapitole. Jak se 
It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a trick around here. I reckon it's full of fit. You show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over Dutch. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. Come on, Jose. Let's go fish. All right, gentlemen. Let me show you how it's done. Break's over, boy. Hey, let me just rebuild it, though. Curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipes some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived. How well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Mm -hmm. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch, we've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, <laughs> You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but no buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. Bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. 
the best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool, but he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. So what are these fellas wanted for? Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make them. You sure I can't just shoot them? No. Did I not say that? You've said plenty. So long, deputies. Oh, that must have hurt. Leave them. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. See if you can get alongside the train. Come on, you must be able to get next to it. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, Dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy. Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? You take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. Load Anders onto the back of your horse there, and we'll take him to Sheriff Gray. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, 
I wouldn't exactly say that. <laughs> Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Tak, ok, vypadá to, že se kloníme momentálně na stranu zákona. To je docela zvláštní, samozřejmě u zlodějů. Ale vzhledem k tomu, že jsme... Uh, že jsme jakoby v nové oblasti, tak by to možná mohlo být. saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good, they're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay, we're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Hey, fellas. Chop, chop, don't just leave him slumped on there for the whole town to see. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Yep, that's the word in town. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Yeah, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying... Arthur, that's... Jose, you start poking around, see what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Hm. Okay, so these are the two families. Hmm. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea. You see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. 
Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Mm. Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. The bill of buying. Tina found herself a necklace in Jim's pocket the other day. Ruby the size of a fist. Golly! Gentlemen, follow me. Easy. Yeah. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch, pickerel too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway. You two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. Okay. What Trelawney said about those bounty hunters. What you think? I told you, I've had bounty hunters after me for years. When was the last time I didn't have a price on my head? Seems a little bigger now, Dutch. Super agents. That's just Trelawney over-egging the pudding like the showman he is. Unless there's a new breed of special man I don't know about. So, do nothing? Not until I've thought it through. Interesting about those two families. We'll look into it. This is the spot. Down to the left there. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, yeah. over there on the shore. A loď zatím nemáme. Co tu máme? I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. 
You're supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. Let me roll. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. <laughs> You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. What about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do too. OK, dámy a pánové, každopádně my už to tady samozřejmě pro dnešní díl ukončíme, takže já vám tady děkuji za sledování tohoto videa, doufám, že se vám video líbilo. Like a komentář samozřejmě potěší, pokud ještě nemáte, určitě nezapomeňte dát odběr, protože mě to samozřejmě udělá strašně velkou radost a vám tak neunikne žádný nově vydaný video. A my se uvidíme teda u dalšího videa ze hry Red Dead Redemption 2, opět zítra odpoledne. Ještě jednou děkuji za sledování a mějte se teda prozatím hezky. Ahoj.